had turned into McDonald's, my friends Turner and Harry, expecting a fun-filled day. It was Harry's birthday. We came to know that McDonald's was celebrating the birthday of one of their old mascots as well. So we decided it just made sense to hit up the place and try the new shake that was being served. I wonder if any of us are going to go missing after drinking a Grimace shake. Dude, knock it off. I hate TikTok. I replied as I unbuckled my seatbelt. Yeah, but it's pretty cool how viral it got, right? Like no one's ever recorded it and not had it end with some kind of horrible result. We went inside and were greeted by the smell of greasy foods and the chatter of customers. A few of them were drinking the new Grimace shake. Overall, it was the same atmosphere as most McDonald's. Just people going about their lives eating convenient food with the occasional really excited kid. I stepped up to the counter with the others. Fries and Grimace shake for me, please. I'll have a McChicken and one Grimace shake. Make it two, please. The young woman taking our orders was friendly and all smiles. You all want Grimace shakes? Yeah, is anything going to happen to us after we drink it? <laughs> what? Don't mind him. He's kidding. After waiting for ten minutes, our food was given to us. We grabbed our trays and went to sit at a table nearby. Turner smirked as he held up his cup. All right, boys. To the end of our lives. <laughs> Dude, you are way too into the Grimace meme. I put the straw to my own lips and took a sip of the purple shake. It tasted pretty much the same way everyone mentioned. Vanilla with a hint of berry of some kind. Not bad in any sense of the word, but nothing to write home about. Turner and Harry also looked a little disappointed with the shake's taste. Well, it was a McDonald's shake, guys. We weren't exactly getting gourmet ice cream, Harry said as he took a few fries and stuffed them in his mouth. The rest of the meal was spent talking about a new game that Harry got for his birthday. Let's go back to my place and play it tonight. We got up to leave when the young woman from the counter approached us. She gave a piece of paper to Harry. Dude, look at that. You got lucky on your birthday. I joked while elbowing him in the arm. Shut up. Harry smiled while unfolding the paper, expecting to see a number or something. Instead, it was written in pen. If you deny him, he will follow you. What the hell? Is this some dumb prank? The woman walked away without waiting for a reply. And that's when I got goosebumps. Was the note just some kind of warning? I figured it probably was. Ugh, I'm starting to get sick of this dumb trend. Let's go home, man. Time to kill some people in the virtual world. You think by him she meant Grimace? Oh, for heaven's sake. Grimace isn't even real. He was a character designed to sell food. We went back to the car. Getting into the driver's seat and buckling, I started checking the mirrors. But as I looked in the mirror, I saw a bulbous purple head sitting next to Harry in the back seats. It was Grimace. Grimace was sitting there staring through the mirror right at me. Ah! 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 I whirled around suddenly, panicked at what I saw. But Harry was just sitting there by himself, giving me a strange look. What? What are you looking at? I turned back at the rearview mirror, but I didn't find Grimace. You good, bro? I looked at Turner and back at the rearview mirror, which showed Harry sitting by himself. Yeah, I'm fine. Thinking it was just my mind playing tricks on me, I pulled the car out of the parking lot. By the time we got to Harry's place, I didn't feel much like hanging out anymore, so I bid them a good night and drove home. Pulling into the driveway to my own apartment, I unbuckled and turned to open the door. To my horror, I saw Grimace standing right outside the window, just staring at me. I screamed and got out of the car from the passenger side door in a panic. But at the moment I came out of the car, Grimace had disappeared once again. I looked around the quiet neighborhood, but except for a few stray dogs, I saw no one on these empty streets. With trembling hands, I got inside my house unlocking my front door. Maybe I should just take a shower to clear my mind. Turning on the hot water, I had expected it to help me snap back to my senses. Instead, I watched, horrified as a stream of purple liquid shot from the faucet and all over my body. I jumped out of the shower and grabbed a towel and tried to wipe off the purple liquid, but I couldn't get it off. It was stuck on my body. Oh God, this can't be real. Suddenly, I felt sick, sicker than ever before. I leaned over the toilet and began to vomit. An endless stream of purple bile came out of my mouth. For several minutes, I gagged and vomited my entrails out. The more I tried convincing myself that this all isn't real, the worse my health got. When the vomit finally stopped, I collapsed on the floor feeling weak. 
I started dragging my weak body to my bed by crawling on the bathroom floor. I was almost out when I felt ticklish on my feet. I slowly turned my head and saw <laughs> Grimace standing behind me. Ooga chaka, ooga ooga, ooga chaka, ooga ooga, ooga chaka. No, no, no! My son is obsessed with the Grimace shake. You see that boy? That's my son, Damien. All he drinks is the Grimace shake. Not a day goes by that we don't go to McDonald's. I celebrated Damien's last birthday at home. It was only me and him. His dad died in a mental health institution a few months before Damien's birthday. My husband Larry was an introverted guy with so many secret thoughts going on inside his head. And one day, his raging mind drove him crazy. He tried to kill Damien, our only son. Damien was sitting in the yard, and Larry was standing behind him. He had a rock gripped in his hand. I saw them from the kitchen and froze. I was about to scream, no! When Damien turned his head to his father, Larry collapsed on the floor. He went crazy, and we had no other choice than to put him in the institution. But now I think Damien's mind has been possessed by the evil Grimace Shake. It's been a year now, and Damien has nothing but Grimace Shakes. He is crazy about this purple, thick liquid. Sometimes at night, I wake up in horror seeing Damien standing at the doorway, watching me sleep. Even then, I see him drinking a Grimace Shake. You must be thinking, why do I buy him the Grimace Shakes? Why don't I stop taking him to McDonald's? Well, Damien made sure of that long ago. At the beginning of his obsession, when I realized Damien's addiction to Grimace Shakes was becoming very unhealthy, I told him no. One morning, as we sat down to breakfast, Damien came and asked, Why did you make breakfast, Mom? I thought we were going to McDonald's. Sit down, Damien. I made blueberry pancakes. I don't want pancakes. I want my Grimace Shake. Enough! Enough, Damien! You're not getting a Grimace Shake! I am never taking you to McDonald's again, you hear that? We are done with McDonald's for life. Damien's face got still, his eyes widened, and he walked out of the kitchen. I don't know why my six-year-old son's eyes gave me the creeps. Damien stayed in his room all day and didn't come out for lunch. I wanted to be strict enough to stop his madness, so I skipped lunch as well. I didn't go to him and he never came to me. Around 6.30, I woke up on the couch. I must have dozed off. My stomach made a gargling sound, and I remembered I hadn't eaten the whole day, and neither did Damien. I got up and went to call him from his room. I opened the door. Okay, Damien, let's go for pizza. But Damien was not in his room. His window was half open. I peeked outside his window and found a bed sheet hanging like a rope. Oh, God, Damien... I ran to the main door while grabbing my car keys. I drove around the block looking for my six-year-old runaway son. Damien! Damien! I screamed his name. I saw a homeless old man sitting on the sidewalk. I asked him, Mister, have you seen a boy walking alone? A boy? You mean that cruel boy who kicked my cat before taking the left? That sounded like Damien, but he went to the left? Why? Oh, no, he went to McDonald's. I increased my speed, and after driving for five more minutes, I reached the McDonald's located on the highway. We come here every day, and I was sure Damien was now inside the restaurant. I got out of the car and ran into it. People were eating and having a good time, but I saw my boy nowhere. I went to the McDonald's cashier and asked, Did you see this boy? I showed Damien's photo on my phone. No, ma'am. Anything wrong? Um, no, thank you. I came out of the outlet and started dialing 911. Maybe someone had kidnapped him on his way here? Wh what if it was a creepy old man on the sidewalk? Oh my god, did he do something to my son? While all these thoughts were making me panic like hell, I heard a giggle. <laughs> Turning around, I saw Damien. He was standing behind me, riding a brand new bike, holding a grimace shake in his hand. Damien, what are you doing here? And whose bike is that? A friend gave me. 
friend? Did the friend buy you a grimace shake too? No, I took it from him. Where is your friend? Take me to him. He left, Mom. Let's go home. Damien got down from the bike, leaving it right there, and got inside the car. I was shocked by his sudden change of behavior. It was like as soon as he had the grimace shake, he turned into this quiet, mysterious boy. No more tantrums, no more talks, just the slurping sound of the thick purple liquid all the way home. So, here I am, taking my kid to McDonald's every single day and buying him grimace shakes. I was in a phase where I accepted this creepiness. But this morning, when I turned on the TV, I saw the news about this missing kid from our local McDonald's. The kid was last seen riding his new bike that he got as his birthday gift. He was holding a grimace shake and enjoying his bike ride in the parking lot of McDonald's. He was last seen around 6.30, going to the far back of the outlet. The parents only found his bike lying on the sidewalk. When I saw the picture of the bike, they felt my skin crawl. It was the same bike Damien was riding that night. He even said his friend gave it to him. Maybe Damien saw this boy and asked for his bike. And the boy let him ride, but then Damien may have asked for his grimace shape, but the boy said no. Damien's coming. I can't talk about this anymore. Mommy, I'm hungry. Can I get a grimace to shake? Ashley, I'm home. How was your exam? Ashley? Ashley, are you home? God, I'm going to kill this girl! Pick up the phone, Ashley. Ugh, just leave me alone. What the? Hello, Daniel? Ashley is getting out of hand. What did she do now? She was supposed to come home straight after school. I told her she's grounded for this week, but she went out again with her friends without even asking me. She just left this stupid note and she won't even take my calls. Okay, calm down, honey. She's just 16. You know how we were at that age. Damn it, Daniel. Don't you ever get worried about this girl? What if she's drinking with some creepy dude? What if something bad happens to her? Oh, come on. Ashley ain't that stupid. I'm sure she'll be home in an hour or so. Why don't you freshen up and watch some TV? And what about Ashley? Honey, just relax. I'll talk to her, okay? Fine. Get some rest. And I've left a shake for you in the fridge. I'll be home soon. Okay. Ugh. <sighs> Hey, babe, how's the shake? Did you talk to Ashley? Not yet. Just cut her some slack, honey. She's making me worry, Daniel. I know. Are you having the grimace shake? Yeah. How is it? What do you mean? What does it taste like? Like any other milkshake with a berry flavor in it. Hope I better see you when I get home. Oh, don't give me that TikTok crap. If anything kills me, it will be your daughter, not some shake. God, you're being so dramatic. I know! Stupid teenagers. Okay, so the storm has gone to bed, I guess. Good for Ashley. Yes, Dad, I'm home. I'm home. Jeez, you guys make me crazy. Did Mom scold you? No, she's not even home yet. Really? But she said she got home an hour ago. 
Well, then maybe it's her turn to be grounded for lying. Hey, hey, don't talk about your mom like that. I'll be home and we'll call her. I think she went out for a walk to clear her head. Can't deny, you did make her crazy, Ashley. Yeah, whatever. Bloody hell! I'm coming, I'm coming! Did Mom come back? Not yet. She's not even picking up my calls. Ugh, she's so dramatic. Where were you all this time anyway? Just drove around with my friends, that's all. Still, you should have told your mom. I won't do that next time. Are you happy now? That's like a good girl. Anyways, I went to McDonald's with my friend, and I got something for you. Here you go. Huh? The infamous Grimace shake? I left one for mom in the fridge. Did you drink it? Well, I didn't see any Grimace shake in the fridge. That means she liked it. It's just basic, Dad. I don't even understand why people are hyping this so much. Welcome to your generation, Ashley, where people do everything for no reason. Ha ha ha. Not funny, Dad. Oh, not bad. God, you always like weird things. No wonder you fell for Mom. Ashley, you're being... <coughs> what the... <coughs> Ashley, call... Call 911! <coughs> Ashley, why... Why aren't you helping me? I guess I can blame him on Grimace now. 